Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Slack for beginners in 2024. So today we're diving into the world of Slack, which is a powerful team communication and collaboration platform. Whether you're new to Slack or looking to brush up your skills, stick around as I guide you through the steps or the basics of using Slack for beginners. So let's enhance your team productivity and streamline your communication. And let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. There are two options of using Slack. You can use this in the web browser or you can install it. Most people uh, like would like to have it installed. As you can see for me, I don't. So just install it because most people like it. Uh, you can, of course, try the experience of the web browser. If you like it, just stick with it. So go to this URL section, type slack.com and hit the enter button. Make sure to log in into your account if you have an account. And if you don't, just go and create a new account. So let's just wait for them until log me into my account. As you can see, you'll find yourself on this page. If you're interested about the pricing, here is it. I'll just open it in here to show you. And of course, basically you'll have to sign up and create a workspace for yourself. So the, this is the pricing. If you want a pro, business or enterprise grid, whatever suits you. The free will have these features. Others will have those features. So pause the video, the video and read it all by your own. I'm just scrolling through them. As you can see, there's even here the frequently asked questions. If you have one of those questions, just pause the video and read it all by your own. I'm just going to open the answers in here for you. And yeah. So for me, I'll just go and access my company workspace. So click on launch Slack to uh, go to my company workspace. So for you, just to sign up into your account, just go and create a workspace for you. You'll need to sign up and create a workspace if you have if you don't have one. And if you have one, you can simply just visit it and log into it and access it. Now, once you're inside Slack, make sure to take some time and familiarize yourself with the interface. How? Click on everything. How to familiarize yourself with Slack? Just click on whatever you want. Create like a test account and keep clicking on everything. So keep clicking on everything. Check what is this. Check what is this. As an example, click, check what's handles, check what's automation, uh, check what's canvas, check everything that you want. Click on plus, click on everything to familiarize yourself with the interface and what everything is doing. Of course, this sidebar, as you can see, contains channels, direct message, activities, apps, if you want to, and even more. Channels are where team conversations happen, while direct message are private conversations between individuals or small group. And of course, now you can, as an example, start by joining channels and starting conversations. So you can join channels relevant to your works by browsing the available channels or using search features to find specific ones. Once you are in a channel, as an example, so as an example, maybe you are in this channel with a lot of people. So I have here three people. So once you are in this channel, you can start a conversation like, hello, hello guys, and send the message and other people will receive it. Now, as an example, you can start your conversation by typing messages in the message input field at the bottom of the screen, as you can see in here. You can also uh, mention specific team member or to get their attention. As an example, I'll just go and type mention and mention this team member. As an example, I can even I guess I can mention everyone, notify everyone in the workspace. Uh, this is maybe urgent. I'll just type this is urgent. So this is urgent. Make sure, as an example, make sure to do this task in less than two hours, maybe. So people will get tagged and they will get notification even if they mute this channel because you tag them especially everyone and you can even tag some specific people like i'm going to ta tag this one uh you don't as example have to do it since you are in vacation maybe so i'll just type that as you can see other than that you'll be able to organize like conversation with threads you can keep conversation organized by using threads for a specific topic so you can create some channels for like this is for work this is for channel, this is for memes, maybe. I don't know, just don't keep everything out in the same space, in the same channel, in the same thread. This will make thing, mix things up and people will get confused. 
Uh, other than that, make sure to keep conversations organized by using threads uh, for specific topics, as we said, within channel. You can click on start a thread, as an example, and create a new thread uh, option next to the message option. And threads will allow you, of course, to focus uh, on discussions without like cluttering the main channel. You can also, as an example, if you don't know, you can upload or link something, upload some files, attach some files like Canvas, upload from computer, create a post, uh, create a text snippet. You'll be able to upload files and share links with other people in your conversations. You can upload uh, files directly into Slack or paste in links in into conversations. Uh, simply, you can click on this plus button, uh, click on upload from computer as an example. And maybe this, this is channel of memes. So I'll just go and click on it and click on open. Or as an example, if you have it on your uh, file, just drop it as I showed you here as an example. So upload from computer. So if you have it open here, just, ju just drag it. Maybe this one or I don't know. Maybe this picture, just drag it in here. As you can see, just close it and click on send. And it will be sent to this, as you can see. So I sent two pictures. I can send other than pictures, not just pictures, videos, files, whatever you want. I can also customize notifications and preferences, as an example, for some specific uh, channels. Maybe this is the meme channel, it's projects, but this is meme. Maybe I'll just right click on it and click on mute channel. Now this channel is mute. So if people send messages, on it, I'll not receive the notification of those images uh, of those messages. And of course, if you want to unmute it, just click on it and click on unmute. You can also, as you can see, view channel details, uh, change notification as an example. And of course, you'll have to uh, you'll need the app for this, or unless you'll have to enable notifications. I have notifications even disabled for Slack in here. Uh, other than that, you can explore like uh, the apps and integrations. So automations here, you can explore a lot of apps. If you want to integrate those apps with Slack, it's very useful if you want to use it. So look for the app that you want to connect. You can connect with Google Drive, Zoom, Trello, Jira, whatever you want. And yeah, so there you have it. You successfully learned the basics of using Slack for beginners in 2024. Whether you're communicating with your team, sharing files, or integrating uh, with other tools, Slack offers a versatile platform for enhancing productivity and collaborations. So if you have a question or there's a specific topic that you would like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Uh, of course, just uh, like the video also if you like it and leave a uh, comment down below if you like it and make sure to subscribe also for more helpful tutorials like this one. So happy slacking and I'll see you around in the next video. So goodbye.